San Francisco's embattled district attorney hitting back at his critics today. Chasey Boudin says he is working to not only fix a broken criminal justice system, but also to hold criminals accountable. KV's Christian Captain joins us now live from San Francisco's Hall of Justice. And Christian, today's rally comes as Boudin faces that recall election coming up next year. Yeah, that's right. The DA is saying that his work is making the status quo uncomfortable, and he says that's part of the reason behind the recall effort. At a rally in San Francisco's Excelsior District, District Attorney Chase and Boudin's supporters pushed back against the recall effort and the narrative that the DA is weak on crime, calling him a reformer. Many saying the criminal justice system as it stands now is broken and biased against the poor and people of color. We look forward to working more with DA Boudin to continue to reimagine the criminal legal system into one that gets to the root causes of crime while also seeing people as deserving of full dignity. We also partnered with the district attorney the also speaking out, saying he's worked hard to reform the system, like taking legal action against corporations or law enforcement officers who break the law. He says those efforts have brought out detractors who are behind the recall effort. That is the kind of approach to public safety and to accountability and to inclusion of all of our communities that I am committed to during the remainder of my term. And it's precisely because of those policies that the San Francisco Republican Party has endorsed the recall against me. Recall organizers say the DA has proven ineffective and point to high profile crimes that have plagued the city since he came into office. Quote, with each incident over the last two years, we become more resolute in the desire to see him out of office. His denial of reality with regards to the need to hold criminals accountable for their actions is a slap in the face to each and every victim. The DA is saying he's relying on police, bringing him strong cases, and that he'll ensure consequences for those who are caught committing crimes in the city. Across the country, about 98% of criminal cases plea out. It is the exceptional case that goes to trial. That's true in San Francisco. It always has been and always will be. It does not mean there's no consequences. Let's be very clear. My conviction rate for murders has gone up. And we also heard from the city's police officers association addressing Boudin and his supporters claim that the recall is a Republican backed attempt to subvert the democratic process. The POA saying in part, quote, they can keep repeating that tired narrative, but 83,000 citizens of San Francisco who signed the recall effort aren't Republicans. They are from all walks of life who are dissatisfied with the state of the city and the performance of the DA. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kaft and KTVU. Fox 2 News. Yeah, Christian, and a lot of that criticism comes from what we see in San Francisco, which is this revolving door. Uh, wondering if Chasey Boudin had anything to say about that and also, you know, the, the questions about why so many repeat offenders are released again and again. Yeah, this was one of the questions that I did have for him, and he'd said that he is prosecuting the cases as best he can. He says, again, that he is relying on the police to bring him strong cases. He says that he stands on his record that if the police bring him strong cases, he will prosecute those cases, and then he will uh, seek uh, whatever kinds of consequences are available to him. Uh, so this is the DA's uh, argument saying that he is doing his job, and he's doing the best that he can right now with what he's getting in terms of cooperation from the police. And that'll be up for voters to decide next year during that recall. Christian, thank you.